friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. As always, I am so glad that you decided to stop by and join me today. Today's video is all about my DIY Valentine's Day decor and I am so excited to share it with you. Now it's very simple, it's obviously going to be very neutral and I think it's very romantic. Valentine's Day is one of my favorite little holidays to decorate for so I'm really excited about this video. Now I will say I did not break the budget for this. I tried to use things from around the house or just incorporate things that are very inexpensive. So I hope that you enjoy today's video and find some inspiration along the way. But for now, let's go ahead and get started. This year when I began to visualize what I wanted to create for Valentine's Day decor, my mind automatically went to two things. First, my blackboard in the entryway, and second, cherub wings. One of my favorite pieces to decorate in the house is that board, and one of my favorite things to decorate with are feathers. So it was definitely a win-win. So for my first few projects, I'm using some simple white poster board I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I quickly traced out my largest wings and because I hate to waste I use the rest of the board making smaller sets of wings just for little projects that I knew I could use throughout the house so with this first one I'm using some book pages that I had cut out from a previous project and I again not wanting to waste thought I could definitely use them here and they worked out perfectly I just cut them thinner for this smaller pair of wings and I absolutely love the way it came out I did end up using these in a cloche with a simple gold heart ornament that I've had for years and years and years and I absolutely love it As you can see, I'm scrunching up the little leftover bits and pieces and adding them to the back of the wings for added texture. I really think this is going to add more depth to the whole display in the cloche. one of the items I purchase most often at craft stores is scrapbook paper. Scrapbook paper can be used for so many different projects, little DIY decor items like this, gift tags, gift bags, gift boxes, banners, Christmas time. And there's just so many possibilities with scrapbook paper. And when it's on sale for 25 cents a sheet, you really can't beat the price. So as you can see, I'm using it here by cutting it into feather-like pieces and I will layer them all around this set of wings working from the outside in. Now, when it comes to crafting, a lot of times I honestly do not know what I'm going to do or what I'm going to use. And that is the case with the next two sets of wings. In this one, I just went to the closet and found a feather boa that I had no idea I had. And um, 
I don't know that I will ever use a feather boa for crafting again. It was so messy, as you can see me vacuuming up the mess there. Um, I did have to cut these in half and reconfigure them because they look like a giant tooth when I was done and that wasn't really appealing. This next set, um, while I was looking for feathers and found the boa, I also found this roll of crepe paper and I thought, why not? I took it out and I honestly like the way it came out. I kind of tried to ruffle it as I glued it onto the wings and I think they came out so darling. I really, really like these. I would definitely use crepe paper like this again. Okay, now on to my big project. I do apologize to anyone that does not agree with me as I'm tearing this book apart. I am so sorry, but I really do love using old book pages and books for that matter in my decor. I think they are so beautiful. Here again, I began cutting out feather-like shapes. I was actually able to get two per page. I then creased them right down the middle before adding them to the poster board. I think it added quite a bit of texture by just adding that little crease to each and every one. Now, here again is the perfect example of me not really knowing what I'm doing until I'm doing it. I just began gluing the feathers on, just figuring it out as I go along. Valentine's Day is a day devoted to celebrating love, but what happens the day after when the world goes right back to the norm and all the red and pink hearts are put away? I am so, so thankful for the message of love the Lord has sent our way. He teaches us that his love endures and lasts forever. It goes beyond that last candy out of the box. And after that last petal fades and falls from the bouquet, that is because his love is perfect and a perfect gift to share with others. It's not something to keep hidden just to ourselves. The Bible says in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whomsoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So let's make every day Valentine's Day and share his amazing love with everyone around us. This next project is super simple. It's just a little display of things. I found these wooden hearts at Hobby Lobby and I've had this frame in my stash from the Dollar Tree forever. Plus, I've just gathered a few things from around the house like keys, ribbon. Obviously, I'm using my scrapbook paper once again. It's honestly just a simple display, but I love the end result.
found this little frame in my stash, I knew exactly what I wanted to use it for. I thought a cameo would be perfect for this display. Now, normally I will just kind of freehand one, but I wanted to show you a little trick that I have used in the past and it makes it so easy when you're not feeling artistic. So I hopped on Google, just typed in cameo silhouette, found something that would fit my frame and simply traced it onto my paper. Now do it carefully as to not damage your screen, but once you get it done, you can color it in with a Sharpie and you have a perfect little cameo for your frame. This next project was kind of created on a whim. Like I said earlier, a lot of times I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with things I pick up. I just kind of play around with it until I like the look. And I think this ended up being the perfect addition to the mirror I have sitting on our dresser in the master bedroom. Thank you. 
Of course, around here, changing things up for different holidays always means changing up my chalkboards. As you know, I love fonts and I really love creating on chalkboards. This is one of the things that I get a lot of questions about. So I wanted to take a quick moment and give you a few tips that I think might help you as you try to create a pretty font on your own board. Number one, the bigger the board, the better. When you have room to make bigger strokes, I think it makes the process so much easier. And number two, I would say use chalk over chalk markers. Nowadays, chalkboards at Hobby Lobby or really in any store are mainly made of some type of plastic and honestly they don't work well with chalk so if you can create one or even paint over that plastic coating with some flat black paint i think it allows for a much richer and a nicer chalkboard look okay number three look up different fonts and try to mimic them Honestly, if you can achieve one big, beautiful letter at the beginning of your saying, I think you trick the eye into believing you're a pro. Number four, use your own handwriting and dress it up by simply going back and thickening each downstroke. Okay, number five, remember, art comes in all different shapes and sizes and designs. So don't worry about comparing what you create is just as beautiful as the next. My amazing friend Shell gifted me this dress form after a graduation party we decorated together and I love using it in our master bedroom. Creating different ways to dress it up for the holidays is always so much fun. Now, if you've been around my channel for very long, you know another favorite of mine is decorative trim. This is just one more inexpensive item you can find at Hobby Lobby. The best time to stock up on it is when it's on sale. Adding this piece was super simple, but I think it's so soft and very romantic looking. Okay, one last easy and very inexpensive DIY project. I think coffee filter wreaths are so very pretty and elegant looking. They add so much texture to any project. Now, I realize I just videoed me putting a door decor piece together and placing it on my door just a couple videos back. And this is going to replace that for now, I'm sure I will use that K once again. Like I mentioned then, I do love creating new door decor 
quite often. It's just something that I have always enjoyed putting together. Now, when I thought about this piece, I was hoping the idea would work. And I'll have to say, in my opinion, I think it did. In my eyes, it's very beautiful and it fits my theme for Valentine's Day perfectly. So tracing out another set of wings and simply gluing the filters on as feathers ended up being the perfect finishing touch to this wreath. Now I did add a few coffee filters to the wreath just to fill in where I had placed some ribbon once before. And as you can see, I am placing the white filters onto the wings and I'm laying them rather flat. I did try to kind of layer them a little bit so that there were four different layers showing as I placed them on the wings, but I really love how this all came together. I did collect a few things from around the house just to add a little finishing touch onto it at the very end, but yeah. It's perfect for me. I love it and I'm so glad that it came together as well as it did. ahead and call this video a wrap but before I go I just wanted to make a really quick announcement now I absolutely love doing giveaways and this one I'm really excited about now it's nothing big but it is coming from my heart I wanted to put together a small box that I'm gonna call a graceful living box and it's just gonna have some little tokens in it that I really love to incorporate around my house. So it's gonna have a beaded garland in it. I'm sure it'll have a tassel in there as well. And I did pick up my favorite hand soap. I absolutely love it and I think you will too. It smells divine and it leaves your hands feeling so silky smooth. So please remember to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so it will bring you back here next week so we can get started on that giveaway. All right, everyone, I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week. Stay safe, be blessed, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.